Hello and welcome to, for now, the final part of my Bundesliga jersey review for the 2018-19 season. Uh, we actually have covered a lot of Bundesliga jerseys. This, the Bundesliga is among the most complete ones. Again, if you haven't seen part one, um, the 1860 scarf is because I don't have many Germany related uh, articles and I'm not varying if you've seen my Serie A Premier League uh, La Liga or Liga uh, review I always was wearing a jersey I don't have any Germany related jerseys so I'm again wearing only my 2006 World Cup shirt that I got in Germany and yeah uh, I would say let's get straight to it we have four more teams to look at and there are quite some bigger names in there and one of the biggest ones of course is Schalke. Uh, Schalke is a huge team in Germany that did not never made a big dent on the European stage except once they won the UEFA Cup in 97 against Inter Milan and ever since then I'm actually a Schalke fan among the really big teams probably Schalke is among my favorites but they're also a, a little bit of a joke team because they have a huge potential they have a great arena but they always manage to mess it up in the last minute and now we have after years of adidas adidas got basically rid of all german teams but bayern we have schalke now with an umbro and i'm actually happy for umbro and if you look at it it's a very classic looking schalke jersey as you would expect it uh, royal blue i'm not sure about the white band here but i think it's okay maybe the umbro diamonds could have been in blue to be, uh, get a little bit more blue but i like the white color the crew neck with a little v on the triangle on the front the sponsor of course is gazprom say what you will and then if you look a little bit closer there is a pattern to it and i'm gonna zoom in here because it actually looks first epilepsy inducing but then you see something great there are two crossed hammers which is a great reference to the local mining culture. I really love that one. And I also love that they have the motto here on the back, Wir leben dich. It's kind of, you know, it's hard to say, we live you. You know, we live for you, we live in you. Kind of, that's how I would translate it to English. Overall, the sleeve cuffs look a little bit odd. That's the only thing I don't like. Everything else I like about here. So I'm gonna, yeah, the sponsor I don't like either, but. Yeah, at least it's white and fits with the color. Uh, I'm gonna give this an eight star. The away jersey is a little bit more adventurous because it is kind of an off gray tone with a light blue. Don't like that one too much. And again, yeah, the light blue, you know, it doesn't fit with the royal blue. Schalke should have a royal blue and then the off gray is okay if it was with the royal blue, but this way I just don't like it. Um, I give it a four. It's not horrible, horrible, but it could be much better. And then the third jersey, yeah, this one is the you see here all jerseys. I actually love the striped socks on the home jersey. This is actually a super nice touch. But the away jersey in the neon yellow with black, horrible, horrible, horrible. <sighs> Two stars. That's the only thing I can say. Then another club with a lot of tradition and they really made very interesting jerseys for this season is Stuttgart. Um, at first it seems odd. I, centered crests are hard to pull off, especially since the sponsor is also not centered and it's kind of standing here. But if you look closer, there is an off-colored crest there in white, uh, which is just making the city logo, the three antlers on there which is a really nice touch. I wish they would show it a little bit nicer. But it also like how the logo just sits on top of the classic red stripe across. Stuttgart has one of the most recognizable kits. And the other nice thing is that the stripe is going all the way around. I assume they will have black numbers on that or red outlined white numbers or black outlined white numbers. So yeah, um, it looks a little bit old center, but it's the old style crest with the really old um, German writing. Uh, I even like the color nicely. Um, I think I want to give this really eight stars. Then the away jersey looks even better because it has another city logo, like a beer cup, a lamp kind of thing. 
uh, with red. I don't know it's the same. Nah, maybe I don't like it that much better because it's of the two colored sleeves. I yeah, the canne here. Uh, you can see it actually quite nice. Again, it wraps around, and Mercedes is perfect. I uh, it's the city where it's the perfect sponsor for Stuttgart. Yeah, I'm gonna give this seven, and then the third jersey. This one I like a lot. And yes, the colors are odd, but these are the colors of the city of Stuttgart. And then you have the horse, which is also the city of Stuttgart. Um, so therefore, take this template. It looks really cool. Uh, I'm gonna give this even the nine stars. Although it's not the classic colors, you see it in the crest. There is the black and the yellow. These are Stuttgart's colors. Um, yeah. I just like, I like Stuttgart. Stuttgart is among my favorite teams in Germany. There are a few that are kind of, you know, they're almost all equal. Stuttgart is one of them. Another one that's somewhere there, although it's far away from Stuttgart, is Werder Bremen. Another Umbro shirt. Do you see how many Umbro shirts there are? Uh, in a way, classic Werder Bremen, but what about the color here? It's just odd. Also, I mean, the shoulder yoke. The color was normal, just uh, then I could see past it, but it, it's just a little bit too much on top. Also, the sponsor is a contentious one, but it fits nicely here. And like with Schalke, I wish that the Umbro Diamonds were in green. So therefore, I'm only gonna go... Now let's look here on the back. Yeah. Yeah, it says Lebenslang Grün Weiß on the collar, which means lifelong green and white or green and white forever if you want yeah it's very simple I'm, i mean i like the font and so on but yeah even the color seems a little bit off to me but you know they made at least a crest that way uh i gotta go just five here and i'm going to go way lower for the away jersey that was a mess the color scheme just is nothing where than like uh it's an interesting idea but i don't think it, they don't pull it off. You have the dark sleeves, and then you have the dark blue, steely blue pattern here with a little bit black thrown in. Kind of a, you know, this seems to be the trend now with Puma also having kind of this textile fabric pattern in there. Ah, it's just way too messy. It's just way too messy. I'm gonna give this a two star, but I do like the away jersey. Simple. And I like how the diamond around the crest is radiating out. It's just the crest should be centered on the diamond and have the star up there. That's the only thing that's wrong with it. And also the color could go all the way around green. But I think this is a nine star. This actually is the best weather jersey. And then the last team that, that we're looking at is Wolfsburg. Of course, you have the V-Dub sponsor. And the one thing that Wolfsburg has been doing for the past few uh, years, they have taken this X on the front and they're also disowning their light green club color in favor of a lot of dark greens. The light green only shows up on the crest and on the swoosh and then you have this dark green X on an even darker green jersey. The X is something you gotta get used to. Maybe it's nice and subtle here. I just don't like the coloring. So again, Germany has a lot of average jerseys. Nothing li really horrible except for Hertha and, s and some few others, but also nothing really outstanding. I'm just gonna go six here. Um, the away jersey is actually a little bit nicer, although I don't understand the blue. The only thing that I is blue is because it connects up with the main sponsor, and that's why I actually like it here. Uh, but other than that, yeah. Very, very simple, but I'm gonna go a little bit higher and say seven. Well, let me know what you thought about these jerseys, whether there are some jerseys that you really like, that you would like to have, that you actually have. Uh, drop me a few comments below, uh, especially if you disagree with me, also if you agree with me, I would like to hear that. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.